knowing him. And um, do you want to just talk about it a little bit? It's awesome. Yeah, you can't see it on the top. It's actually supposed to be a star. So um, I just got um, uh, a picture of uh, like the wise men. Um, um, earlier you guys were practicing and she said, is it going to be Christmassy? And I just felt like God said, yeah, it's going to be Christmassy. I said, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, um, and uh, <laughs> this sounds a little silly. I feel like um, I feel like I heard the Lord say, why is Ross? <laughs> and he wanted to just kind of um, breathe uh, new wisdom into you um, that he's just to let you know that you know he's crowned you as as a, his child and as a king, um, and as you are are following after him as the wise men followed the star kind of thing. Um, um, just that he wants to crown you and, and give you that that extra God wisdom because our wisdom is not like God's. Hey, awesome! Very good. Did that? Are you Ross? Okay. Did that resonate with you? That makes sense. Okay, can you stand? Um, let's just, as a, a sign of agreement with what God was speaking through Keith, just let's extend our hands to bless this word. It's kind of like when you plant seed that you have to water it and fertilize it and make sure the soil is good. So let's just bless the word that was just planted. So Father, we just thank you for wisdom for Ross. We thank you, God, that he doesn't have to figure things out, that he doesn't have to have everything rest on his shoulders. God, I just take that burden off of him right now in Jesus name. Thank you God that he is your kid and that he gets to just follow what you have to say. So right now I just thank you and I agree with the spirit of wisdom and revelation to just be full and alive inside of him right now and I just thank you for what you've already done, what you've already started and we just say yes to it right now in Jesus name. Amen. Yay. Awesome. Yeah, anyone else need wisdom? You get to receive that. It's totally, totally fair. Okay. Um, and uh, Ross, of course, you can take that with you at the end of the, um, the service here. And if any of you, this is your first time with us this morning, we have another um, art piece that we've already prepared. Um, and we just want to give that to you with um, just what God's saying with that as well. It's going to be a smaller one. Um, but as you leave, um, we're going to present that to you. Um, so at the end of the service, make sure that you see us in the back for that, okay? All right, awesome. Um, this morning, we um, want to present to you an opportunity to be able to bless um, a couple families in Harrisburg. Um, we have a ministry that we partner with called Urban Key Ministries. How many of the Urban Key people? Yay. <laughs> That's awesome. How many of you love Urban Key? Let's just say that. You love Urban Key. Awesome. Okay, great. Um, what Urban Key is is a home that's in the city, and um, they're just living there, loving on people around them. And so as a church, we wanted to partner with them to be able to adopt a family, and we ended up adopting two families together that are in one house. And um, it's two single moms, and they have seven children um, between them. So um, what we did is we just um, put out um, different things that you can um, buy to bless them and bring back by next Sunday. If not, let us know. Um, but we have uh, listed them out there, um, uh, a clothing item for each of the children. And if you do choose that one, you'll see on the back of that card about who that child has their sizes. And you're free to buy one item or as many as you want to. You don't have to buy the whole, it gives the whole list of like pants, shirts, shoe size, but you don't have to buy a whole entire wardrobe for them. It's just whatever God would have you um, buy for them in that, um, on that card. And then also buying them a hat, scarf, and gloves. That's an another card. So if you just want to buy a set of winter accessories, you can do that. So those are all listed out there. And then we just wanted to give them food items to provide a Christmas meal. So those are all itemized out. If you just want to buy two cans of green beans, that's awesome. That'll be a blessing to them. So that's there. In the back, you're free to take as many or not. You don't have to take one, but you can take multiple cards if you'd like. We just ask that on on the two long sheets of paper that you would write your name and email address next to those items just so that we can make sure that we get all the items in and then um, the Urban Key um, group is going to present that to them like the week of Christmas. So not far. It's already December 13th so it's crazy. 
It's coming. Yay. Um, but anyway, we just love to do that. We've done that every year, and um, we just love to participate with what Urban Key is doing and bless the family there. Um, so please take part in that. Um, and then... Next week, um, in our church calendar, we're calling it a big day. We have these periodically throughout the year. And these are days that we really want you to bring people to. We want you to bring people all the time. But this is one of those days that you can just present to them to say, hey, our church is doing this um, big day, they call it. And we're giving um, free family portraits next week. So if you come, we'll have a setting um, for you to stand in front of with your family or friends, whoever. What is that word? Family? Is that what they're calling it? <laughs> have you guys heard that before? Family? family, because we're so spread out as a culture, whoever you want to have in your family, family, friend, whatever, portrait, you can um, do that next week, and then we'll print those out for you um, for free. So that's going to be our gift for you for Christmas. And so bring people next week, and we're going to talk about how to be a good gift giver and how that looks from God's eyes. And I get the honor of presenting that next week. So I'll be speaking next week on how to be a great gift giver. So I've learned from the best. Ben's an amazing gift giver. You'll hear some of his amazing, astounding stories. And every time I tell them, husbands hate Ben after that because they're like, you make us look so bad. Don't, look, don't hate Ben. He's just like, be inspired, okay? Yes, he's just, that's what he does. So being a good gift giver. Um, so that's going on next week, and um, in a little bit, Ben's going to share a testimony um, from this week. A testimony is a good thing that happened um, this past week as he was just out in the community um, just reaching out to people. So, But before that, um, we just want to take some time and have communion together. We do this every Sunday, and I love it. It's just an exciting part of our um, culture as a, a family, family. I'm just going to say family because it doesn't sound weird. A family. So you'll see that in the seat in front of you, um, there's little cups that have um, prepackaged communion so that you don't get the germs of anyone next to you because we care about that. So um, if you don't have, if you're sitting in the front row, Ben's going to be bringing that around, or if you're in the sound booth, um, you can take care of that. So I just invite you to um, pull that out, and then um, whenever you want, you can pull that top layer off to have access to the little wafer. And then this next, the foil covering is for um, the juice. So this season is Christmas. How many of you have been listening to Christmas music since November? I admit it. I love this season. Way to go, Katie. This is such a good season. And we, of course, we've heard this, but we know that this season doesn't just end on December 25th. Okay, no more talking about Jesus. No more, that's it. That's enough for a whole year. Now we'll just wait until the next time next year before we can talk about him again. We get to enjoy him all year round. This morning we sang a song, Spirit of the Living God. He came down, showed us who he was, and didn't just leave us, but he revealed himself as a God that was alive and as one that was willing to give everything for us. So this morning as we remember that, I just invite you to ask him to show him how alive he is this morning. So let's um, just take that bread together. And by take, I mean put it in your hand. Sorry, I was going to pray over it. Take is really a bad word to use. I'm so sorry. If you already ate it, it's fine. You can swallow it. You won't go to the other place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus, thank you for it today. Thank you, God, for you. Let's focus, everybody. Jesus, thank you for your body, that you didn't just stay in heaven and give us directions from a far off place, but God, that you came and you showed us who you were. God, you revealed yourself as a man, God, that you gave yourself for. And so right now, we just bless this bread, and we thank you that it is your body that was broken for us, that you didn't just come, show us what to do, and leave, but you came and gave yourself for us. So we in gratitude, ask you, God, just to reveal yourself. Show us how alive you are. Jesus, show us even more of who you are, that you're not just a little baby that goes in a nativity scene, but that you came alive. You came and revealed yourself. So as we eat this bread, we just thank you that we're remembering you. We're remembering your return, Jesus. So just eat the bread now. Mm. 
Yay. Hmm. Right now, I just bless this juice as well. Jesus, I thank you that you took this, and to your disciples, you said that this is your blood that was poured out. Your life was poured out, Jesus. It was a costly price, what you did for us. Before we even knew you, before we even turned to you, Jesus, you gave yourself for us. So we remember this, and we say, thank you, Jesus. Let's just say thank you to him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving your life. Thank you that you made a mess, Jesus. You let yourself become a mess for us, Jesus. Thank you, God. Let's just drink the juice together. Thank you, God. I just saw a picture in my uh, mind's eye of Jesus lifting up his skirts and like tiptoeing around us and how crazy that is that he didn't do that, that he let himself become a mess for us. He got into our mess with us and got super messy so that we could become clean. It doesn't make sense. It's weird. It's crazy, but he did it. So thank you, Jesus. And so right now, Holy Spirit, just invite you to seal that in our hearts. Thank you for that opportunity that we have to remember Jesus and that we get to run boldly to the Father because of Jesus' life that was given. And so we don't want to squander that. We don't want to waste that gift. Help us to remember what you gave your life for, for the abundant life that we get to walk in. Jesus said that he came to give us life and life in abundance. So let's just say yes to that right now. Yes, God, thank you for your abundant life. Yes, in Jesus' name, amen. Ben, you get to come up now. Yay! People, so good to see you and uh, those that are watching through our YouTube channel. I don't see you, but I imagine that you're Good looking. I'm with us here today. 